Hey everyone, I'm Hoop Smiles and this is Abby and I'm going to teach you how to hula hoop today. Now I have taught Abby before how to hula hoop and she's appeared in multiple of my videos. This video is going to be geared more towards people that have a plus size body type. However, if you don't have a plus size body type, you can still learn how to hula hoop watching this video too. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about in this video, which is probably the most important thing when you are first starting hula hooping, is the size of hula hoop that you use. Basically, if you go to a store and you just buy a regular hula hoop, you might find something that's on the smaller end. So I, I just wanna give Abby here, this hoop right here, this is a much smaller hoop. I want you to demonstrate this hula hoop for us. Thank you for doing this. So go ahead and give it a spin. So, so yeah, that, that didn't work. Thank you for doing that on camera. I appreciate that. Because here, here, here's the thing is, the, the, smaller, work. the smaller the hoop is, the harder it's going to be. So for a lot of people out there watching this video, you're going to need a much, much larger hoop. To give you an idea of how large of a hoop you're going to need, this is a pretty basic weighted hula hoop right here. Now I want you to go ahead and try that one. Okay. And let's see how you do with this weighted hula hoop. So that was much better. Yeah. That was much better. Yeah. So go ahead and give that a, a second spin. Okay. So now this has a little bit extra weight in the hoop. I think the weight helps. And it's a little bigger. Okay, so that was <laughs> much, much better. But it still seems like, you I know, that bit bigger. even this weighted hula hoop was not enough. We're gonna need to go a little bit bigger. The weight kind of added something. This one doesn't have the extra weight, but go ahead and try that one. It's slightly bigger in diameter. And let's see how this one goes. How does that feel? Good. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. All right. So that's that's looking a lot better. But you know what? I even want to go slightly bigger than that. So I'll have you just hold that for a moment here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a piece out of this because oh, yeah. these ones come apart, which is really it. nice. And let's add a piece to this one right here. And now I'm gonna make it even bigger. Cause really the key here is you really wanna get a bigger hula hoop size. And I feel like that can make all the difference when you are first starting here. Because if you have one that is too small or you know maybe it's too light, it just may not work that well. Now go ahead and try this one and let's see how this one okay. goes. How does that feel? That looks great on you. I love it. All right, so I think this is her size. The hula hoop size is so important. It's, it's probably the most important thing that you want to do even before you try hula hooping is you want to get fitted for the right size of hula hoop. Basically, a fitting just happened right here, what you just saw. We tried a smaller hoop, we then tried a bigger hoop, and then a bigger hoop, and then we tried this one. And so if we just, if you put this up against your body, let's see the diameter size. And let's see where it's on where. So, okay, so it kind of comes up to about chest level on Abby right here. So I would say this is a, a great size for her. And as she gets better, she can go ahead and then uh, use a smaller size. Now that we have the right hula hoop size for Abby, we can talk more about the hula hooping form. When it comes to spinning a hula hoop around your body, I would say for the most part, you, you wanna kinda aim for that belly button area, and that's where you're gonna be spinning it around your body. But you start out by putting it on your back and you're gonna hold it with both hands, just like what Abby's doing here. There's multiple techniques that you can do to hula hooping. The first one is you can just put one foot in front of you. Okay, so put one foot in front of you, and this is sort of a rocking back and forth technique. And more or less, you're gonna be rocking from your core. So rock from your core and not from your shoulders. You wanna yeah. isolate your shoulders. So you don't wanna bring your shoulders down, okay? But really rock from your core. And that's gonna be sort of the main source of where that hula hoop is spinning. And then also while you're doing that, flex your abs. Flex your abs, that is really important. You really wanna flex your abs while you're doing that hula hoop motion and that will be helpful to keeping the hula hoop up. All right, so go ahead and demonstrate that. Give that a spin there. All right, that, that, looks, that looks great right there. Excellent, excellent. Now, the only thing I would say, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, I would recommend that you put both of your feet pointing forward. Oh. Right now, Abby's back foot is just slightly pointing diagonal here, but I would recommend pointing both feet forward as you are doing that hula hooping motion. And you also wanna make sure that you stand up straight 
It's important to stand up straight while you're doing this. You don't want to slouch <laughs> forward. So go ahead and, and turn to the side so people can see that from the side there. And so go ahead and spin that. Excellent. That looks great right there. That is great. I'm turning my foot again. <laughs> That's just how I do it. <laughs> Yeah. Now the second technique I'm going to teach you is the shoulder width stance. So if you place both of your feet about shoulder width apart, in this stance, when you spin the hula hoop around your body, you're going to more or less move side to side to keep the hula hoop going. Also too, something you want to do is you want to make sure that when you spin that hoop around that you give it a nice parallel spin with the ground. You don't want to spin it diagonally. Try to keep that spin parallel with the ground. Also too, you want to get a nice, really powerful first spin because sometimes the first spin can be the most important spin. Okay, so go ahead and okay. give that a spin, the side to side. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Now I know that one you don't do as much. No, I right? don't, no. Yeah. I so, do the rocking back and forth method. So go ahead and try it again here because okay. this is going to be something that Abby, for her, I would recommend Abby practice this one a little bit more because really the key is you, you want to do all the techniques because eventually you want to get to the point where you can be able to move with your hula hoop. And I know we've talked about that before yeah. in, in, in some other videos together. So that eventually you can be dancing with your hula hoop, moving around and get more fluid and smooth. You want to get to a point where you can walk around with your hula hoop, take steps forward, go backwards, also, you know, go side to side. So I'm just curious, go ahead and try some mm -hmm. of that. Why don't you, you do the rock and, rocking back and forth <laughs> okay. stance, and I want you to maybe just take a step forward. Uh, oh, great, <laughs> there you go. That's something you can practice. If you can't fully walk, then maybe just take one step at a time. So try it again, to try one step, Okay, yeah. and if you need to, take a baby step and then maybe also try to go backwards. Yeah. Try to go backwards as well. Okay. That's easier. There we go. That's easier. There we go. And then also, you know, there's the side to side as well. I would really recommend and encourage everyone out there that you try to move with your hoop because eventually you want to get to the to a point where you can be more fluid and be more or less dancing with your hula hoop. And I feel like that's when hula hooping can get really fun. When it comes to the size of your body, it can impact hula hooping a little bit. And I say a little bit. In some cases, it might impact someone's hula hooping a lot. But for a lot of people, really the key is just getting the right size of hula hoop. And for some people, you just may need a much larger hula hoop size. So even if someone is watching this video and they have a much bigger size, they're more on the plus side end, then you may just need a bigger hula hoop if you are really struggling to get it. It is possible to go even bigger in hula hoop size. So I'm gonna take another piece here and I'm gonna add it to this hoop to just show you how big you can get with a hula hoop. And I've even hula hooped with a size that's bigger than this too. But go ahead and I want you to try this. <laughs> and I'm gonna stand off to the side here and give that a spin. How does that feel? Fun. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing too, is when you're using a bigger hula hoop like this, it just may even be fun to just try out. It is fun. But when you're spinning this, is, do you find it's pretty easy? Oh yeah. And do you feel like having it this big even makes it easier oh, than the yeah. last size? Oh yeah. What's going on for you when you use this hoop? When I use it, I like it because it's, it, it's easier to keep it up. It's going slower, so it's easier to keep it up around your waist and so it's more gratifying because you don't you're not constantly dropping it and picking it up and getting frustrated with that so yeah the bigger the hula hoop is the slower it spins which for a lot of people it can be easier now when you get to a point where it's too big there's going to be a point where it does get harder i was going to say i was going to ask you that if it just does get yes harder. it does get harder when you get too big but let's just see how high this comes up to, to abby so if you just leave this on the ground so this basically comes up to her chin, it yeah. looks like. If you're thinking, oh, could I even get a bigger hoop? In a lot of cases, you, you might be able to get a bigger hoop if your hoop is smaller than this. There might be a lot of people out there that just may think that they can't hula hoop. And I feel like one of the reasons why is because they may try these smaller hoops or they even just buy a weighted hula hoop like this. This is, I would say, a pretty standard weighted hula hoop. And this is not big enough. That's one of the problems. I think why a lot of people think that they just can't do it is 
they just need a much larger hula hoop size. Now, if your plan was to buy a couple of collapsible hoops, especially if you're gonna buy a couple weighted hoops like this one right here, something that I would put out there is you do wanna be cautious because once you're combining weighted hula hoops together, that can increase the weight. And typically my recommendation is to not to go above two pounds in weight. So if you are buying a weighted hula hoop that's two pounds to begin with, and then you combine pieces together, then it's gonna be heavier than two pounds. Also too, especially if you're first starting, I don't recommend getting a hoop that has the little bumps that stick out. You may have seen this if you're going online and you're searching for a hoop. I don't like them, personally. <laughs> if you are gonna combine hoops together to make a bigger hoop like this, what I would recommend doing is just getting a couple of collapsible non-weighted hula hoops and then combining those together to make a bigger hoop instead of you know combining multiple weighted hoops together. Now, if you do choose to go the weighted hula hoop route, you should watch my weighted hula hoop safety video first before you even touch a weighted hula hoop or buy a weighted hula hoop. There are some instances where people have injured themselves weighted hula hooping or they've gotten bruises. So I advise you to watch my video on weighted hula hoop safety. Also, if you can, do not buy your hula hoops online, especially if it is your first time ever buying a hula hoop. There may be some sellers out there that may be saying, hey, I'm selling a beginner hula hoop that beginners can use. Well, just because someone says that they're selling a beginner hula hoop, it may not actually fit you. Okay, and so what I would recommend doing is just getting fitted in person. So if you can find a local hoop dealer that you can just go and try out hula hoops, that is what I would recommend doing just because even though someone online may say, hey, this is a beginner hula hoop, well, it might work for someone else. Depending on your situation, it may not work for everybody. When it comes to hula hooping around the waist, I would say there's not really one way that's better than the other. I showed you a couple different techniques in this video. If you're able to do a different stance, a stance that's safe and is not gonna injure yourself while you're doing this, then and, and you're able to get it to go around your body, then I would say that's okay as long as you can get it started because eventually you don't wanna be doing the same stance. You wanna move on to different stances moving around in different locations, because that's really the key here. At least I'm just trying to jumpstart your, your hula hooping journey here so you can just get it going around the waist. And then from there, I want you to practice. I want you to uh, do more, you know, learn some hula hoop tricks. I have a bunch of hula hoop tricks on my channel that you can watch. And if you want to watch some more hula hoop videos, if you didn't get your questions answered in this video, well, visit my channel. I have a bunch of tutorials. And uh, there you go, everybody. Until next time, enjoy.